In this module, we will discuss the standards for mixing water for concrete and the sources from which we obtain mixing water. We will then go through a summary of the most common impurities and their effects on concrete. We will end the discussion with a brief mention of the interactions between mixing water with impurities and chemical admixtures. Water is a key ingredient in concrete that when mixed with Portland cement forms a paste that binds the aggregates together. Water causes the hardening of concrete through hydration. Hydration is a chemical reaction between cement and water to form cementaceous hydration products. Water needs to be of suitable quality for use in concrete as to not adversely impact the potential properties of concrete. Almost any water that is drinkable and has no pronounced taste or odor, also known as potable water, can be used as mixing water in concrete. Many waters that are not fit for drinking are suitable for use in concrete. Acceptance criteria for water to be used in concrete are given in ASTM C1602. Potable water can be used in concrete without any testing or qualification. Water of questionable suitability, including non-potable water or water from concrete production operations, can be used in concrete if, if it is qualified for use by requirements shown in this table. The requirements evaluate the impact of the questionable water on strength and setting time of concrete. Performance Characteristics ASTM C1602 includes optional limits shown here for limits on the chemistry and total solids content by mass in the combined mixing water. Optional limits have to be invoked in project specifications or in purchase orders. The concrete supplier is required to maintain documentation on these characteristics. ASTM C1602 also establishes minimum testing frequencies to qualify mixing water in conformance with the requirements. More frequent testing is required when water has a higher concentration of solids or higher density. When considering water quality in concrete production, it is important to account for all sources of water in the mixture. By far the greatest volume of mixing water in concrete is from batch water which may be from either a municipal water supply or a municipal reclaimed water supply, a site sourced water, or water from concrete production operations. Other sources of batch water include free moisture on aggregates, ice, job site addition by the truck operator, and liquid chemical admixtures. Municipal water supply systems get their water from a variety of locations including aquifers, lakes and rivers, and the sea through desalinization. Six typical analysis of city water supplies and seawater are shown in this table. These waters approximate the com composition of domestic water supplies for most of the cities over 20,000 population in un the United States and Canada. Water from any of these sources is suitable for use in concrete. An automatic absorption spectrophotometer shown here can be used to detect concentration of elements in the laboratory analysis of water. Municipal water is purified, disinfected through chlorination, and sometimes fluoridated prior to use in drinking water. Reclaimed water is wastewater treated to remove solids and certain impurities. It is typically used for non-potable applications, application uses such as irrigation, dust control, fire suppression, concrete production, and construction. Many large concrete paving projects and remote construction sites use site source water either from shallow wells, ponds, or rivers. These natural sources of water are typically not a concern. When they contain significant amounts of suspended particles such as silt and contain organic impurities and algae, additional testing is warranted.
recycled water from concrete production. <coughs> Solid contents exceeding 9 kilograms per cubic meter or 15 pounds per cu cubic yard may adversely impact the properties of concrete through increased water demand, accelerated setting time, lower compressive strength, and higher permeability due to increased water demand and associated higher W over CM. Seawater containing up to 35,000 parts per million of dissolved salts is generally suitable as mixing water for concrete, not containing reinforced steel. Seawater is not suitable for use in production of concrete with steel and reinforcement, and likewise, it should not be used in pre-stressed concrete due to the risk of corrosion of the reinforcement. If seawater is used in plain concrete for marine applications, moderate sulfate resistant cements, type 2 or MS should be used along with a lower water cement ratio. Seawater should not be used as mixed water for concrete with potentially alkali silica reactive aggregates. Seawater used for mixing water also tends to cause efflorescence and dampness on concrete surfaces exposed to air and water.